everybody doing? Good. So before we start, I'll just ask a quick question. How many people here have heard of Hatch Detroit before today? Okay, all right, good. Um, well, for those of you who didn't raise their hand, uh, my name is Ted Belowski. This is Nick Orga. We're the co-founders of Hatch Detroit. And really, what we're trying to do is focus on retail growth in the city. You know, there's a lot of great things going on in Detroit right now. You're going to hear a lot about them today. You know, one of the areas that Nick and I kind of identified when we decided, hey, we want to do something in the city to give back, we thought, you know, retail, um, independent retail, is really uh, the fabric of what makes, you know, neighborhoods and cities cool and vibrant. Uh, so that's why we decided to put our focus on that. And we're doing that really through trying to inspire the community um, and the public to participate. And we're focusing on independent retail entrepreneurs and we're trying to help them through funding, through education and training, through as much exposure as we can possibly get them, um, and through mentoring. So, you know, we, the initiatives that we're, we're, we're trying to enact um, kind of fall into line with all those uh, funding, education, exposure, mentoring. The first thing that we did this past year was a retail business contest, and it was focused on anyone, anywhere in Detroit, in the region, in the country that wanted to submit an idea to us for a retail business. When we started, you know, Nick and I weren't quite sure what, what the response was going to be. Um, last summer, we got over 200 submissions that came in, and, you know, we were both very impressed with the quality of the submissions that we got. You know, there's a lot of people out there that have great ideas that want to do something. They just need the platform and they need the resources uh, to help them get there. So that's what we're trying to do. And our contest uh, wrapped up in November. You guys saw the video there. Joe Posh from Hugh is the winner. So hopefully you guys are ready for some bachelor pad um, style um, retail in the city. And, you know, through the, um, through the process, we decided to make this a really public forum. Like I said, we're trying to engage the community and let you and everyone else uh, have a vote in, in what businesses we fund. Um, and so that's what we did with this contest. And again, Nick and I kind of thought, man, you know, up to that point, we'd done a pretty good job of getting the word out, but we weren't sure what kind of response we were going to get, and we were overwhelmed. We got 65,000 votes cast during uh, basically a month-long um, process, and ultimately, uh, Joe was the winner. So I'm going to let Nick take over. Hi. Best thing that's happened to me today is that my shirt matches Phil Cooley's socks. <laughs> uh, the winner of our contest got $50,000 and a suite of free services to start their business. Joe will be open in the fall of this year, hopefully the summer. Um, the main driver behind what we decided to do was it was focused on trying to attract and retain residents in the city. And one of the things that we modeled this on was the idea that vibrant and diverse independent retail is the lifeblood of a developing neighborhood. It's what makes a cool neighborhood cool. Before I moved here three years ago, I spent almost a decade in Chicago and I saw neighborhood upon neighborhood redevelop and gain energy and traction and vibrancy and it was centered around stores and restaurants and bars that people wanted to flock to because they, they, they felt a connection to and they wanted to be part of that scene. And that's happening now in Detroit in spades. And we hoped that we could just put one additional business in the, in the, uh, the crux of these areas that are already developing very strongly. Um, when I, Ted and I were yesterday at a retail establishment in Detroit and the owner, one of our friends said something to me that I thought struck home. She said that independent retail isn't just about business, it's about community. And we think that it couldn't have been said better than that. What we didn't want to do, though, is duplicate the efforts of all the other organizations out there, the Bizdoms and the Tech Towns uh, and the Detroit Venture Partners that have way more funding than we do uh, and that are doing things to spawn scalable businesses and doing a, a fantastic job of it. We wanted to complement that. And so what we decided to do was focus on a niche that we thought was underserved, and that was independent retail. And so what we did was, as Ted mentioned, we could have gone behind closed doors, taken $50,000 and given it to what we thought was the best idea. We did the exact opposite. We turned it over to you guys. We turned it over to the public. We turned it over to people who live in the Detroit, who live in the region, who care about the region, and said, what do you think? We had 10 great ideas, and we let you vote, and let you elect it, and hope that you would support it. But by doing it that way, we gave the nine people that, that 
finished as runner up, runners up to this, an unprecedented platform to reach out to funders of their own and to try and get launched by someone else besides us if they didn't get our funding. And it's happened already. Four of the, the organizations that, that finished as runners up are already well in the works of getting their own business through their own source of funding. And so Ted and I have day jobs. You know, we both work, you know, corporate jobs from, from eight to seven, which many of you will end up doing uh, in your life. And so we, we sort of straddle the fence. We have um, our jobs, and then we have our friends and our organizations that are more at the grassroots level, um, many of whom you're going to hear from today, uh, that are passionate about what they do, and we're passionate about helping and being part of that and part of that energy. And so what we think can be done uh, through Hatch and through other organizations is to bring those groups together, to bring the funding and the resources and the finances and the cachet and the reach of corporate America to the energy and the passion and the drive of the grassroots efforts. When those two worlds collide, amazing things can happen, and we want to be part of that, and we encourage all of you to do it. Uh, as, as Philip mentioned, uh, the barriers to entry in Detroit are very low. If you have an idea and you have passion, you can make things happen, you can make a difference. And whether it's here or elsewhere, I'd uh, just strongly encourage you to follow those and to do whatever you can to, to pitch in and help out. So what's next for us? Um, you know, 2012 is going to be a big year for Hatch. We're trying to grow the organization. And we're going to do another contest. We're calling it Hatch 2.0. Um, so we're going to be looking for more business ideas. It's going to be retail focused again. And time-wise, we're looking at probably spring, early summer on that. We're also going to do. Um, a community, some community events we're calling Hatch 101. It's going to be training and educational sessions where business professionals from around town come in, speak to the group. It's going to be free, open to the public, and we're going to also tie in uh, some social responsibility to it and um, donate money that's collected at these two um, retail businesses that are existing in the neighborhoods where we're hosting the events. So, um, and then lastly, of course, we're going to hope uh, hope to help Hugh and the other semifinalists get uh, get off the ground and get open. If you guys want to learn more about what we're doing, you can go to our website, you can follow us on Twitter um, and on Facebook. And it's kind of the theme of today, just to leave you with, I would say, you know, there's no better place in the world to be an entrepreneur, to be someone that's a doer that wants to create change than Detroit. So uh, we hope that all of you guys uh, come down and, and take advantage of that. Thank you.